Hey guys, quick heads up before I start the video, the link down below takes you to my Patreon where you can download the project files for this video. Also gain access to my premium tutorials and in-depth courses where we build games together from start to finish. Check out my Patreon below, gain direct access to years of experience so that you can start working on your dream game tomorrow. Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. So in this tutorial, I want to talk about what locally controlled means and how we can use that to our advantage uh, when it comes to like begin play. And then if you put a print string on begin play, you see that it fires hello a couple times, but it fires hello a couple times for all different classes. So for the character, let me just clearly show you this. We have a begin play event. Uh, and then how does this begin play event work? Well, let's say that we have us as the server, so the host, uh, and then we have our own character. So we're just gonna type in one. So when I am just a server playing by myself and, I, uh, and, and this is my character, then this character fires one begin play. Now let's say that we have a second player joining. So let's say that as client one, then client one obviously also has a character. So if we say for this guy, this guy is two. Then this guy uh, sees himself in his instance and the server sees himself in his instance. So this guy will fire begin play for his own character. But of course, client one will also see the character of the server and the server will also see the character of client one. So this is what happens inside of a character class. So basically off of begin play, the server will fire hello for himself. So if we do a little print string here, print string, and put that to 15 seconds, then we will see that if the server is just playing by himself, he will just say hello. Now, if there is a second player, then we see that the server will start to say hello and then also hello for the second player. And then when it comes to the client, the client will also say hello for himself and the server will say hello for himself. So um, why is this already important? Well, basically, let's say that we have begin play logic that sets up our character then what can happen is that the server is playing all by himself and then the server would have already fired off their own begin play to initialize their character. Now client number one here would connect to the game and then what we see is that client number one will fire its own version of the begin play for this character as well. And if that client then attempts to basically fire off setup logic, then we might not want it to happen because then uh, this one was already initialized and set up. So we don't want this client to do that for this character as well. So we only want this client to do that for themselves basically. But another example is uh, when we look at the server here, when client one connects, then we can say that the server will do the begin play event for client one and client one will also do the begin play event for client one. So now the setup logic that we would run off of begin play would be fired twice. It would be fired here and then by the client themselves. So in order to get rid of that, there is something called is locally controlled. So if you type in is locally controlled, you get this function. And with that function, you can then basically branch off of it and then you can check whether or not this is only for your own local controlled player. So if you want this begin play event to only fire on the characters themselves, then you would hook this up like this. And then you would basically have the server fire the begin play event and then run their own logic for themselves. And then when the client would connect, the client would also only do it for themselves and not interfere with all of the different types of characters. So let's have a look at this. If we now set our game to one player, player in standalone and then hit play. Then we see that we simply get one little hello. So that is because this guy is just all by himself here and he simply says hello. Then if we do two players and then as listen server and hit play, then we see that the server says hello and then the server says hello again and then client one says hello and then client one says hello again. So basically what happened as we explained is that we have the server here that says hello for themselves and then the server will say hello for this character when that character connects. And then when the client connects, let's say that would be five minutes later, the client would say hello for themselves and the client would also say hello for that guy. But since this client doesn't own this guy, then why would this client set up the begin play for this guy? So you have to be careful there what you install off of begin play and what type of logic you do want this client to run on others and what type of logic you do not want this client to run on others. And then when we test it with three players, it would get even worse. So with three players, we'd see the server says hello, 
hello, and then the server says hello again. Client one says hello, 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 and client two says hello, hello, hello. So to fix this issue, we would simply plug this in between so that each character would only do their begin play themselves. So now if we hit play, then we see that there are three players and we see that the server says hello for themselves, client one says hello for themselves and client two says hello for themselves. So that way we fixed it and then we can basically save, safely code logic here that only needs to happen on the characters themselves. Then let's also have a look at this when it comes to the player controller. So first of all, we're going to remove the begin play here and then we're, let's have a look at how that works inside of a player controller class. So here we have a player controller and let's call it BPPC. Now this player controller, we're gonna plug it into here, hit save all, and there we go. So first of all, when it comes to characters, we now know that they exist on the server and that these characters also exist on the client. So characters exist on the server and on all clients. So now let's have a look at how that works inside of a player controller. So here we have a begin play event and let's type in print string hello for 15 seconds. And then we set it to one player play in standalone. So now if we hit play, then we just see one simple hello from this player controller. But then when we do two players and then we do listen server. So now we got two players, then it says server says hello server says hello again and client one says hello so why does the server now say it twice and why does client one say it once so that is because when it comes to player controllers unlike characters who exist on the server and on all of the clients the player controllers only exist on the server and on the owning client so then the, what is the owning client basically? Well, the owning client is you as yourself as the client. So where the character would exist on the server and on all the clients, then the, the, the player controller only exists on the server and on the owning client. So what does that look like? Well, if we have the server over here, then the server has a player controller. So yet again, let's call that one. So the server has one player controller and is playing by themselves. Then we get client one to connect to the session and client one also has a player controller. So let's call it two. So client one has their own player controller. And then we have a third player and let's call him client two. So client one and two and client two also has a player controller and let's call it three. Then where previously with the character, we would see that the that the client here would have all of these characters. So in the case with the character that there would be a client two, so three players in total, then this guy would be a tree here. And then this would basically all be copied here as well. And all be copied here as well. So this is what it would look like for the characters. Everybody would have each other's copies. But now for the player controllers, it would basically look like this. So since it exists on the owning client, this guy would only have their own. So this guy has his own, this guy has his own, but the server has both of them. So the server has their own and it has the others as well. So that is basically the reason that when we play it with two players, so with the server and with client one, that is why in that case, we then see server says hello and says hello and client one says hello once. So with three players, what we would now see is that the server says hello, 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 and then client one says hello once, and client two says hello once. So if we do three players, we can validate that. And then we see the server says hello, 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 and client one says hello once, client two says hello once. So where would this also be dangerous yet again, if we just keep the begin play like this and start to hook up logic here, such as setup logic or creating widgets. So let's say I create a widget, some type of, type of a widget and I'll add it to the screen. Then in this case, Every time that a player would now connect, the server would set up the widget for, well, first of all itself, and then for all of the other player controllers that are connecting, and then the clients would only set it up for themselves. So since we do not need the server setting up widgets for other clients, as an example, then we also here want to see if we are only the local version. So for that, in the player controller, we type in is local controller. Now we got two options, is local controller or is local player controller. So when we use the player controller here, then we can now say off of begin play, true. 
And then let's go ahead and test this out. So what will happen now? Now the server will only say hello, this guy says hello, and this guy says hello. So if we now hit play, we see server says hello once, client says hello once, and client two says hello once. So for that one, we now see that we can now safely code our UI. This player will do it, this player will do it for themselves, this player does it only for themselves, and this player does it only for themselves. And that is basically what I wanted to teach you guys here when it comes to setting this type of stuff up. All right, bye guys.